Hey, this is Sean from Gulf Coast and Beyond. Day two, Clay County, Florida. I'm at the North Florida Military Museum. A lot of cool stuff here. This place was recommended. So, uh, pretty wild night last night. We're at the place at the River Park Inn. Rim pod hits, things like that. Taking a paranormal break. So we'll walk around this museum here. Let's take a walk. Here's a Pratt Whitney R28 engine. And uh, F6F Hellcat crashed here at Lee Field. So Lee Field, this was a base at one time. So there's some various uh, uniforms and things like that. And there's some uh, ships on the wall there. And look at these. See, this is like a like an old uh, Spaniard uniform or something. Really cool. And uh, there's some more uniforms here. Revolutionary War. John Paul Jones. Considered the father of the American Navy. Pretty neat. And this thing just looks real right here. Because it is real. <laughs> Wow. Very impressive. And here's some Civil War. Uh, it's got the guns here, Colt 44, model 1858, Calvary Tactics book. Very impressive, and here's some more guns right here. Army, United Navy. So this is pretty, pretty neat, also. And here's some various uh, trench art, and looks like some kind of a mortar. There's a mortar around right there. And then over here, this was uh, this was uh, General John Pershing. General of the Armies of the United States. That guy looks like he looks like he's uh looks kind of kind of uh, serious right there. And then there's some more over here. The light kind of went out on us. Some gun right there. And over here looks like. Uh, Looks like some German stuff there. Yeah, that's a man. That's a really old helmet too. And over here, some medals. I love this stuff, man. Just really, really cool. This is some rifles here. A Gore 98 and a Mann Liger M1895 German rifles. And these look like some aviator. Uh, gas mounts and things like that. German soldiers again. Got some pretty cool models in here too. Really cool. Some models here too. PBY Catalina. Roman F3F. And a Vault 02 OH2U Kingfisher. And there's some uh, some stuff there for look at this. I love this old stuff. This is a little nostalgic stuff. Then there's Philippines. Philippine scouts. And 
it's the American sailor right here. The blue jacket of the United States Navy, all theater of World II, most particularly the Pacific area of operations. There's the Greenland. This is 213. Here's some more of a Marine. U.S. Marine. Infantryman. And U.S. Army. Infantryman. And there's a picture right there. Japanese flag. And here's some uh, more modern rifles right here. Super Fortress, I think. That's really cool. There's the F4 U Corsair right there, man. All my black sheep. Look at that webbing up here. Marines. Long range. Reconnaissance patrol soldier. Man, it looks real. Look at the webbing up here. Pretty neat. Jungle, jungle patrols. Israeli Air Force. What they were impressed with, he said, come check this out. Where they like were preparing greener. stuff for to put on this plane was that refrigerator from the Midway. It was a squad refrigerator from the Ready or World War II. And there's, there's a cool little. There's like a little tip right there, too. The mosquito net. It's pretty cool right here. And there's even more up here. And this here is uh, the women of the armed forces. All right, we're outside now. And here's a, a collection of Jeeps. And this is pretty awesome. Ambulance. Army. Military police. 
And look at this bad boy right here. Yeah, it's an F4 Wildcat wing that was pulled out of the end of the runway here from an accident during wow. the training. It still has the star on it. Oh man. No, well, it's World War II. How did they find how do they find this? Doing the construction to build the highway over here. They the construction guys found it. Fortunately they came and told us about it, so they brought God, it. God, that is amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Look at look at some of the lines here are still here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably salvaged the guns. That's probably an ammo box. Oh, wow. They always salvage the weapons and then it's too far gone to fix, so they left it in the swamp. Oh, it's amazing. The engine you saw inside was from the swamp that we dug out. Oh, wow. And there's another engine over here by the Jeeps. Now, this came out of the same, the same yeah. area where the wing was? Yeah, but it, this was at the beginning of the museum, not recent. Yeah. This started it all. It was a couple of guys here that... Uh, had a collection and then people started bringing stuff and man look at that started uh, having tours wow and there's no telling what this thing has seen or what combat it's been in or who i mean who knows yeah i mean it's mostly wow. training but still yeah. you know some pilot could have been killed it's world war ii 538 caliber single mount dual purpose gun look at this beast and the, uh, looks like the dragonflies like it too. Yeah, look at that, that's nuts, man. So we're gonna walk over this this thing over here. This is a beast. Look at this thing over here. That's where we're going next. Okay, this is called a US Army Lark, and I'd have to ask him what that means, I don't know. But look at the tires. I mean, that that's insane. I mean, I'll put this on me to show you how big the tires are, if you can see. I mean, look taller than me. It's not saying very much because I'm pretty short, but those are some big tires. We'll walk around here now. That's awesome. <laughs> That's just awesome. So this must be some kind of a light amphibious vehicle or something. And I can't really go past here, but that's pretty amazing. I mean, you could probably put tanks in this thing or anything, personnel. That's pretty amazing. We'll walk around the other side now. A lot of dragonflies out today. Ugh. That's crazy. What a beast, this thing. I guess only four were made. That's pretty awesome. There's some Corsairs painted on the side of the building. And there's another picture of the Lark. Hey, this is Sean, Gold Coast and Beyond. I'm wrapping up here, North Florida Military Museum. This place is awesome. If you're ever in Clay County, you have to check this place out. Any of you military people or even civilians, um, a lot of history in here throughout the wars, everything. It's all volunteers. They've done a great job here. Tomorrow is day three and I will be ghost hunting at the Clay County Jail and Courthouse with the Tennessee Ray Chasers. Ghost hunt weekends. So this is my three-day uh, trip in Clay County. Uh, thanks for joining me here, and uh, we'll be back at you real soon. I'm out.